welcome back. The weather's changing out there. It's getting cool. So you know what that means. It's pumpkin time. So bring out your pumpkins and let's get cooking. So today we're gonna make some pumpkin pie and we're gonna use that to let our kids taste it, explore it, and then craft their favorite kind of pie. So we cannot make it any easier than this, I promise, because the recipe is on the side of the pumpkin can, okay? Super simple. So first, oh, first, first, I've gotta get my gloves on because you know, we're Head Start and we have performance standards. We have to make sure that we follow those. So as you can see from what I have laid out here, I need one can of pumpkin. I need one can of sweetened condensed milk. When you're in the store, make sure you pay attention because if you're not a big baker, there's different kinds of canned milk out there. You need salt. And for this recipe, instead of using multiple fall spices, I just grabbed my pumpkin pie spice. It's got everything mixed in together, okay? So one can of pumpkin, straight into your mixing bowl, using my spatula. That might be a great vocabulary word for all of your kids, not just your English language learners. My sweetened condensed milk. It's super thick, so this is a great piece for vocabulary and for observation. You could compare this with water or milk. You could probably even cast, pass the can around and see what they think of the smell. Now I need a half a teaspoon of salt. I need one and a half teaspoons of my pumpkin pie spice. And I need two eggs. This is where it could get a little dangerous here, folks. Okay, make sure none of my shell goes in there. One and two. All right, now I'm going to mix everything up. And that is one of the vocabulary words I have over here. So pumpkin was my first one. We have to make sure we have some of those very basic words. Then our ingredients. So as you're dropping it in there, you might say, okay, my next ingredient is, before you put it in, and now I'm mixing everything together. I'll know it's all mixed together when I don't see lots of colors and textures. And this looks about right, folks. So there we go. Now I'm going to pour all of my mixture into a pie shell. It doesn't matter what kind, but this is also another great way to bring in some vocabulary. This is called a pie shell. I wonder why it's a shell. What do I know that has a shell? You think that has a shell that's an animal? How oh, it's on the outside of the animal? This is on the outside of my pie. Now I will say the recipe calls for a deep dish pie shell. Mine is not, so I didn't use quite all of my mixture, but it's not gonna bake up very much, so don't worry about that. So now I'm gonna put it in my oven. Let me look at my can, so when I tell my kids I'm reading my directions, I'm gonna preheat it to 425, and I'm gonna bake it for 35 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna make sure that I have it on bake for 325. And let me take out all my other pieces. I'm gonna bake it for 35 to 40 minutes. Now, while that's baking, I'm gonna make a chart and I'm gonna teach my kids how to graph. We're gonna talk about how I have my pumpkin pie that we're all going to taste and I have another pie that I bought from the grocery store. Maybe a pecan pie or an apple pie. Here I have apple. So I'm going to let all of my kids taste both of the pies when we're done and then they're gonna use a sticky note or a marker. Somehow they're going to write their names inside each of these total areas. It's okay that we're not doing an official graph with bars because this is the beginning of the year. We're just teaching those foundational skills. Then we're gonna total them up and write the numbers and we're gonna talk about more people liked what kind of pie, less people liked what kind of pie. And don't forget, I've got all of my vocabulary words here. These are gonna go on my letter wall after I'm done with the lesson so students can grab them and use them to write 
and in centers. So you guys have fun making pumpkin pie with your kids and we'll see you next time. Bye.